Hi everyone, this is Cass from Boom Gel Stain and Cass's Creations. I just want to do a really quick video showing you um, what we've added to our range most recently. This is a good example, but I made a messy label. These are interference or color shift or chameleon mica powders. So this is one of them here. This is actually a dry picture or a dry piece and we'll see. I hope it's coming through on the camera. I think it is. So you can see the color shift in it, which is really cool. Um, and it's so easy to use. So I'll take that away. I'm just gonna put, I just want to give a couple of really quick examples. I just wanna make sure that's centered. Okay, so these are just five centimeter um, MDF little magnet things I've made up. And it's just so I can show you really quickly how easy the mica is to use with our clear flow medium. So this is our clear flow medium. Um, you can use it to add different um, micas, pigments to, um, which we're going to do today. You can also use it, say if you've got a black canvas and you wanted to blend some white out over it and you didn't want to have any um, blending of all the other colors, you can actually add the clear flow. It's tricky to explain, but essentially you get that fluid background without diluting any of the colors. I do have videos on that, but today we're using it as a medium to carry our mica. So these are our camellia micas. They come in 10 gram bags. We only need a very small amount. So of course these are only small, but I've just put maybe one or two mils into that little cup there of our clear flow medium. And then with my little spatula here, and this will be enough to do two because we don't need much at all. So this is a tiny little spatula and I'll just show you. So that's actually heaps. Now that might, I don't think that's even a gram to be honest. So these are 10 gram bags. So that's a really very small amount. The one we're using here is the green, yellow, blue, purple. So then I'll just pop a little bit more on. Now I'm outside, remember these are non-toxic, but they're very, very fine little particles. We don't want these going into our lungs. So I often put a little dot of our clear flow medium in the cup, pop some mica down and then pop a little bit on top just so that I don't get all those particles flying around. Um, I would also recommend if you've got issues with your airways and so on, please just wear a mask. Don't do it inside around the kitties because these particles are super, super fine. Okay, so that's mixed in. It doesn't take much to mix it in. Now, it's actually quite thick, as you'll see. So I'm just going to add, this is just water, a few little drops of water, and that's just to get it... It's still going to stay nice and thick, but you can work. I'm used to working with um, a really thick consistency, so I might just thin that down just a little bit more. And that will be fine because um, the clear flow is really good. We can add quite a bit of water to it before we start messing up with this, the integrity of it. Okay, nice. So it's still quite thick, but that'll be perfect. All right, so just so we get an idea, so I'm just going to pop down some of our black. This is our Willy Wagtail black. And I'm just going to spread that around. Like I said, it's non-toxic, it's water-based. Easy. So with yes, I'm using my fingers. This will wipe off. All right. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get them both ready. So here, I'm just going to do like a little puddle pour and then blow it out with our mica on there as well. Just something really, really easy. It's just so you guys get an idea of one way to use it. So once it's mixed, you can use it just as you would any of your other colours. All right, so whether you're doing it into a dirty port, whatever. 
This is our newest colour, Pandaria Pink. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. I think I've overdone it there, but in a way. And I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow. Okie doke. So, like I said, this is the, what is it? The green, yellow, blue, purple. Okay. So, I'm just going to pop a dot down there. A dot down here. It doesn't matter if it spreads out a bit. See? And that's been plenty. You really don't need much at all. Okay, and then in here, I've got our Willy Wagtail Black, just with two drops of our Boom Booster drops, which I don't have out here. But it's little um, cell enhancer drops. I'm just going to... I think it took me a while to set up. This is still really... Okay. Come off. And the air's getting to everything a bit. Okay, this is my big straw. God, I want to keep my face out. Okay. Let's see what happens there. I'm just going to breathe. I want to see how much I'm in the camera. I might just bring it up. I don't even know if I can see it. Okay, I'm just going to leave them sitting there for a minute. We can move it around a little bit. All right. I'll just sit that back there. All I did was just blew on it gently again. And I'm just going to lift this one up and do the same. Okay. All right. So what I'll do is I'll pop some photos in at the end of this video. Um, they may not be dry pics, but you'll get the idea. And it was just to show you how easy it is to get that in there and incorporate it so I did the same thing here except my puddles were of course in the center of my canvas I blew directly on top then blew out and that was it and you get just amazing color shift results so there you go thank you all for watching bye